Hi, I'm Seth Shostak, astronomer at the SETI Institute, and I'm here to tell you about the TRAPPIST-1 system. Now, this little presentation, which only goes for a minute or two, is for you creative types, you people who want to do a, a, a somehow fantastic creative rendering of what this system would look like. Okay, by now, anybody who hasn't been living in a bunker for the past 20 years, well, maybe some of you are living in a bunker now, but if you haven't been living in a bunker, you know that we have found planets around other stars, right? Well, this is a system of planets around a star that's about 40 light years away. Now, you may not know what a light year is, but a light year is about 6 trillion miles. 40 light years away means take your fastest rocket and go there, and it would take you about 800,000 years. That's a long time if they don't give you food. Okay, now, but that's still relatively close. It's only one two thousandth of the distance across the galaxy. It's nothing, it's relatively clear. But this star is a very, very tiny one. It's what's called a red dwarf. And it's a star that's you know, not very much bigger than Jupiter, although it weighs a lot more than Jupiter. And it's a star. Jupiter's not a star. Jupiter is a planet. So if you could see it up close, you would see this little red ball. Compared to the sun, it's really pretty small, like 10 times the diameter, you know, one-tenth the diameter of the sun, so it's small. Now, these astronomers in Belgium used a system of telescopes they call the TRAPPIST system. TRAPPIST may sound familiar to you because, you know, that's a monastery in Belgium, and they also make beer, TRAPPIST beer. So they sort of backfitted an acronym to, to call their telescope the TRAPPIST telescope, a highly contorted acronym, for which I don't actually remember what the letters stand for. They found this system some time ago, and they found a few planets, they found some more planets. Today we know there are seven planets around this little red dwarf star. Seven. They're called TRAPPIST-1A, uh, sorry, B, they begin with B because A is the star. Trappist 1 B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Really terrific names, okay? And it's a little miniature solar system, much smaller than our own solar system. In fact, it's so small that the innermost planet goes around the star in like one and a half days, and the outermost one goes around in about two and a half weeks. So, you know, you could live to be thousands of years old, at least in terms of birthdays, if you were on one of these Trappist planets. Now, in terms of what they look like, Right, this little miniature solar system there. Nobody knows what they look like. You can make them look like anything you want. You can go online and find, you know, some artist rendition that NASA has made. And, you know, they put little features on these things in oceans and stuff like that. But we don't know. It's like your pen pal in New Caledonia. You know, you don't know what they look like, all right? So we don't, you can make them anything you want. Now, the thing is that the three middle ones, the three middle planets here, are at the right distance from the star to get enough heat so that they could have liquid oceans, maybe atmospheres, maybe inhabitants. So what would be visually interesting about this system? Well, to begin with, because it's so small and the fact that they go around one another so quickly, well, they're, 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 they're close to one another. They're only a couple of million miles from one to the next. That's nothing. If you had a rocket, you could go from one to the next in the course of a couple of days. Compared to that in our own solar system, it takes you seven months to go just to Mars. Here you could go someplace very quickly. And that means that if any of these planets had ever developed life, and this system is twice as old as our own solar system, if any of them had ever developed life, there's plenty of time for that life to be kicked off by incoming rocks and spread to the next planet out. In 7 billion years, you can be sure that any of the planets that could support life would have life. This is not another solar system with an inhabited planet. It could be an inhabited ecosystem. All right, what would it look like if you were on one of these planets? These planets are small, yeah, they're all about the size of the Earth, but they're so close to one another that you could look up in the night sky and see them not as little points of light, the way you see Venus or Jupiter or Saturn. You could see balls hanging in the sky. It'd be like, you know, I don't know, Star Wars in the movies. You'd actually see them. And if you went indoors and, you know, got something to eat and came back out, you would see that they had visibly moved. They moved that quickly. So this would be really neat. You could go out and see a couple of balls hanging in the, in the sky, the nearest other planets. That's fantastic. This is a system quite unlike any others that we know about. Oh, here you can see a uh, rendering I made of this system, but, you know, it's a total fantasy, except for the relative sizes. They're approximately right. I did this on Photoshop because, unlike you, I don't have many artistic talents. TRAPPIST-1, one, one of the most interesting extrasolar system systems that we've yet found.